Hello everyone, I'm Kevin, otherwise known as Forum BX257, your friendly neighborhood 1980s G.I. Joe toy collector. And one of the most requested G.I. Joe playsets that I've ever had since I began doing reviews um, several years ago was this one playset. And I continue, continually sort of refuse to buy one because here in Canada, it's not very easy to get this particular playset. And when I do see it, it's either discolored or there are parts that are broken. Now, you have to understand, this particular place is very expensive and very large. So, to have to rebuy certain parts just to fix it up, I would, I would really rather spend the extra money to skip over the time doing that. On top of that, um, I went to uh, a toy show in both March and April. Unfortunately, I didn't buy much. So I'm probably not going to do a haul video. One of the reasons why I didn't buy much is because in the March one, I, I met a collector who um, told me that, you know, he had this playset and it was, in, you know, 100% complete with everything. Um, and I was like, yeah, I'm very interested in this. So, you know, I got um, things off of him that he carried there, you know, like the um, very, very small things, but not the playset itself. It wasn't until April that I finally got the playset um, at the second toy show which he brought along and I was like, yeah, this this is an amazing condition. It was very, very dirty. So I, I've gone and taken the time of taking it apart and actually washing washing this thing, you know, in a tub. So this, this following video is going to be uh, just my assembling it and putting it actually fully together for the very first time in a very long time, it seems. So, Without further ado, I'm going to be putting together a terror drone. On the pre-assembled lower base with the launch tube and the blue dome doors, there's a tiny little triangle on the very edge, and there's a tiny triangle on the upper white part that you line up so you can put the two together. It's easier to put the fuel station red floors in next without anything obstructing it like the walls. Be careful when putting the tubes onto the pegs on the fuel station floors as well as the pegs on the back of the fuel nozzles as they can be pretty brittle. Next you can put in the walls. This is a B type wall where it has B molded onto the bottom runner of the wall itself, as well as a B molded onto the track on the base. So you just push it in and it actually locks into place. And here I have an A type wall, which again has the A molded onto the wall itself as well as onto the runner, so you can line them up. These actually lock the top half to the bottom of half of the base. And here I have the jail cell walls. And just find the room with the two corresponding holes for the jail cell walls pegs and just sort of cant the whole thing in and it ought to lock in position fairly uh, easily. Next is the outer bay doors with a triangular piece facing outwards. Just keep it on an angle when you're putting the bottom hinges in and then cant the whole thing in and the top part, which says pull, will lock into place. Next is the gun door and I've already put in the platform and the door strut. You just put in the cannon from reverse and then put the seat on the platform. When you're putting it onto the wall itself, put in the bottom part first because the top part actually has that C-clip which has a bit of give, so that's actually a little bit easier to put in next. And now the bottom half is done. For the radar station seats, you have to squeeze it so that the pegs aren't being forced into the clips. The upper cannon bases go over the holes with the straighter cutout. 
just slide in the bottom tabs in first before pushing it back and locking it into place. The upper rampart walls with their cobra symbol go over the holes with the cutouts that are almost on an angle. Again, you'll want to put the bottom tabs in first and then push the two little tabs that are on the symbol itself in to lock in place. And finally, push down the cannon onto the base rather firmly and it should lock into place. I've already put on the caps, the cannon itself, as well as the seat. Very shortly, I'll be doing a full review of the Cobra Terror Drone, as well as a separate video of the Firebat and AVAC pilot. So I'll see you then.